fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and as you can see the barbers are open now so I'm not quite as feral as I have been in the past few videos. But anyway, in this video, due to popular demand, I'm going to be going through cleaning and descaling the Sage Bambino Plus. A few people have asked me in the comments to help with descaling and back flushing and also with cleaning the steam one tip. So I'm going to go through all them in this video today. I'm going to start off by back flushing the machine or as Sage call it cleaning the machine essentially is back flushing. I'm then going to go through the scaling and I'm also going to talk about cleaning the steam wand. So let's get on with it. You'll need the cleaning tablets. You get two with the machine. So we've got the single basket, the dual wall single basket and then you put your blanking disc or your cleaning disc in, then your back flush tablet, your cleaning tablet in that little indentation in the middle and you're ready to go. I don't think it matters at all by the way whether you use the dual wall or the standard basket as long as you use the single basket and not the double basket you'll be fine. To start off with make sure your water tank is filled up to the max and when you take this out to fill it up just have a look in the little cutout underneath the water tank and you'll find this little device neatly stored there and this is your steam one tip remover and clean it. So grab that while you're at it because we're going to need that in a bit when we come to removing the steam one tip. So to start the cleaning cycle you press and hold the two shot buttons, one cup and two cup shot buttons for five seconds ish. You'll see them flash and they're both illuminated. And then you press the single shot button and it will enter the back flush cycle. Let it do its thing and then all these three lights will come on and you're done. You can just rinse the porter filter, empty the drip tray and you're sorted. By the way, it's really confusing if you look online, if you look on YouTube and if you read the manual and so on about how this should work because if you look at the video that Breville have done on this, they show you water coming out. So many people think this isn't working, there's no water coming out. That's because they used to have, not a proper blanking disc, but they used to have a disc with a hole in it. So water would come through the porter filter, but they now use a proper blanking disc, like most espresso machines would use for back flushing. So you don't get any water coming out of here. The water is cleaning the shower screen etc and it will come out into your drip tray and for that reason you don't actually need a bowl here I put a bowl here because it said so in the instructions but then I've realized hang on a minute it's got a proper blanking disc in water isn't going to come into here anyway but we're going to need this in a minute when we do the descaling so that's fine so bear in mind for this bit for the back flushing you don't actually need a bowl because the water is going to end up in the drip tray it isn't going to come through the porter filter. There's nothing in here. But there is water now in the drip tray. Okay, so for the descaling, you want to take your water tank, fill it to a litre, make sure you've taken your filter out, by the way, you can see the filters out. Put your descaling sachet in or open the sachet, pour it in, get a spoon, a long spoon, and give it a stir until it's clear. I'm not doing that by the way because I forgot to order cleaning sachets or descaling sachets, I should say. So I'm going to go through it without putting the cleaning sachet in. But if you've got your cleaning sachets from Sage or from Breville, tear one open, pour it in, stir it until it goes clear, and then Put the water tank back on and you're ready to get going. And to get into the descale mode, we press and hold the one cup button and the steam button. From off, by the way. So have it turned off and then press and hold the one cup and the steam buttons for a few seconds until they're both on solid like that. And then put your 
bowl in place, put the steam one back down and then press the single cup button. Now keep blinking like this until it's done. For the first half the water is going to come out of the group, for the second half the water is going to come out of the steam wand and then when it's finished these will go back to being solid and then what we'll do is after this first part is finished we'll take the water tank off, fill that with two litres, we'll press a one shot button again to do the rinse cycle and then we're done basically. Well, let's let it do its descaling and I'll fast forward this bit obviously because it'll be a bit boring to just watch it at normal speed. Okay so that's done now and as you can see these buttons, the single shot button and the steam button are solid so we're going to take the bowl of water away empty that and we're going to fill the water tank up with two litres and then I'm just going to press the one cup button again once the bowl's back under and it'll do the rinsing phase. So I've filled the water tank up to max. I've just realised that I can put this plastic bowl which is easier to work with because that ceramic bowl is a bit difficult. It didn't quite fit on there. This will actually fit under without the porter filter so I'm going to use that. So all we do now is press the single shot button and it'll now rinse. Do the same thing. Dead easy. So it's done that, it's done the rinse. You can take the water tank off, give it a rinse, put fresh water back in. Or if you want to, you can go through the whole cycle again with just fresh water just to give it a bit more rinse. Completely up to you. But that is how you go through the scaling process. So now I'm going to get this little tool that we spoke about before and if you didn't hear me say it, this is found underneath the water tank. When you take the water tank off there's a little cutaway. You see it's got a little pin thing at the end just for pushing inside the holes on the tip. And then this part is for putting over the wand tip to remove it. So let's do that. We're going to remove the tip by putting this tool, just using it as a little spanner, and turning the tip clockwise. And you can then use your fingers. and it comes off. Now what I'm going to do is while I'm at it, I'd give this whole one, especially at the back where you sometimes miss a really good clean. And then what I would do is get a jug of hot water, get some cleaning solution like the Pula Calf and put about 10 grams of this powder per one litre. So there's about a litre in there. So I put 10 grams in, which is about that much. <laughs> two table, two teaspoons. Give that a stir. Get your steam one, you get your steam tip cleaner and by the way the cleaner has a thicker tip a thicker sort of blunter needle thing there but then if you take this off it's got a sharp much thinner needly thing there if required what you want to do or you might not want to do but I would recommend you do is in focus you crap thing. Do that. Clean out your four holes. It's a four hole steam tip. Hence it has four holes. And then 
I would plonk that in there, leave it to soak. I'd leave it for about 15 minutes. Next thing I'm going to do is get the porter filter and I'm going to stick that there that in there like that. I'm going to leave that for 15 minutes and then get your basket and drop your basket in there as well. And I would leave that all for about 15 minutes. If you wanted to, you can stick that part of your wand in, as long as it doesn't go up to the plastic, as long as it's just the metal going in. Leave the whole lot on there for about 15 minutes if that part of your wand has got milk cakes on it. It shouldn't do really if you're looking after it, and keeping it clean, giving it a wipe each time you use it. But sometimes it can be a bit of rank, crusty bit around the back where you miss. So it's not a bad thing to do this every so often. So you're now cleaning all the gunk off your basket, off the porter filter, and cleaning anything off the steam tip. It's a good thing to do every so often. How often you want to do this, it's up to you. You can do it once a week, you can do it once a month. If you do it regularly, it'll keep your machine nice and clean, and clean is good for espresso machines. So leave that for about 15 minutes, and then give it all a really good rinse, and then you should have nice, clean porter filters, baskets, and steam wand, and steam wand tip. So there you go, we've gone through doing the cleaning cycle of the back flush cycle we've gone through doing the scaling and we've gone through cleaning the steam wand and the tip and the porter filter and the baskets in terms of how often to do these cleans the machine will start blinking the two shot buttons when it wants you to do the instruction says that's every 200 shots but i don't quite believe that i think it's possibly set at quite a lot less than 200 shots. From what I've heard, a lot of people saying that it's done these blinking lights after far less than 200 shots and people are concerned about what these blinking lights are and it's just telling you it wants you to do a back flush. So what it's set to, I'm not sure, but all I would say is when the two blinking lights are flashing, the two shot buttons are blinking alternately. That's telling you to do a back flush. If you've not got a back flush tablet, you can just do it without. It will still be beneficial, not as beneficial as if you had a cleaning tablet in there, but you can do it without a tablet in. So if you feel that you've only done 20, 30 shots since it last asked you to do a back flush, you can just let it go through the back flush cycle without putting the cleaning tablet in. I think you'd be okay. The one cup and the steam button flashing, it'll do that every so often and that is telling you that it wants you to do the full descaling. And again, I'm not entirely sure I will have to try and find that out, but I'm not entirely sure how many shots it will let you pull before it asks you to do a full descale. But if you're having the one shot and the steam button flashing and then you've done a descale and it's still flashing, just make sure you've done that rinsing part and it knows you've fully gone through the descaling cycle because what I've heard is that sometimes it thinks you're still in that cycle. Some people have maybe forgot the rinsing step and it's waiting for you to do that. But if you've got anything like this and you know you're going through it, as I've just shown, and you are doing it correctly and you're still having issues, just contact Sage Support or Breville Support and they'll help you. So just a couple of things to say, just to point out, when you're doing the back flushing, you don't actually need to put a bowl there. I was reading the instructions and it was telling me to put a bowl there. And I did kind of scratch my head a bit with that because I'm thinking it's got a blind disc in. No water's gonna come through the Porter filter, but hey ho, it told me to do it, so I put a bowl there. But then what I've discovered is that they used to ship this with a blanking disc with a hole in the bottom, so you would actually get water coming out of it. They no longer do that, so the blanking disc is a proper blind disc with no hole in, so no water comes through the group head, through the porter filter, it all comes through the system into the drip tray. So you don't need to put a bowl underneath your group and your steam wand when you're doing the cleaning cycle, when you're doing the back flush. You do when you're doing the descaling, but not when you're doing the back flush. 
I think that's about it. If there's any questions at all, just ask them in the comments below. I always answer, I think I do anyway, I always try and answer the uh, questions in the comments. And as with this video, I'll often reply to comments with another video because a few people have asked for this video. So I think I've done everything. I think I've answered the questions. As I say, we've done the descaling, we've done the back flushing and we've cleaned the steam wand. And as a bonus, we've cleaned the porter filter and the basket. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. Cheers. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click this image here. There should be an image here. If there isn't, then it's going to make me look like an idiot. But there should be an image here. Click on that and you will subscribe to my channel. So that's all for now. Tatty bye.